the Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. How are you? My name is Rich at 4 o'clock in the morning on this uh, Monday morning, the 13th day of November, 47 degrees right now. I think we have a gloomy start to this Monday before the sun comes out. But if you're tired of the clouds, I have the news of about a very sunny week ahead. And we'll talk about a warming trend. Also, the next cold front on the way has slowed down a little bit. Now it looks like it will be here Saturday, the first of two important cold fronts between now and Thanksgiving that will usher in some much cooler air. And the models are now waffling on the details and the intensity of those cold air outbreaks. We'll uh, update you on the latest. Here we go. Let's get started this morning. The last showers on the radar earlier this morning are in southeast Alabama and will be departing. Low clouds and patchy fog covers much of central and south Alabama, but I think uh, we will get improvement and we will see some clearing and some sunshine uh, by the afternoon hours. So, you know, it's tough to gauge, but we'll see morning clouds followed by clearing, then sunshine. High 67, tonight's low 43, a little breeze out of the north at 6 to 12 miles per hour today. Then tomorrow, a cooler morning. I think we're in the low 40s, maybe low to mid 40s, and then a warmer afternoon with highs in the upper 60s and I think upper 60s to maybe flirting with 70 on Wednesday. There's a weak front approaching, but that front is going to be inconsequential. It's going to kind of fizzle and not be a a player in our future. Warmer air on Thursday. Yeah, I think we're into the lower uh, 70s on Thursday and Friday. And there is Friday evening at 6 p.m. with a strong front approaching and some showers and thunderstorms out ahead of that front. I don't think it's going to be a severe weather situation, but we're, we're watching it. Sunday morning, the front is cutting across north central Alabama, falling by the cooler air. Here's Saturday at noon, and you can see showers and thunderstorms are certainly going to be in the state with the cooler air already coming into north Alabama on Saturday. And it looks like the cold air, while not coming straight for us, will give us a glancing blow. Uh, this is uh, uh, surge number one uh, over the next few days between now and Thanksgiving. Much cooler on Sunday, a little breezy, and temperatures uh, will take a big tumble. So we're looking for upper 60s today and Wednesday. Then nights and mornings in the low 40s, uh, mid 40s for a few days. We'll be in the low 70s on Thursday and Friday. Chance of showers and thunderstorms by Friday night into Saturday with the front moving through. But again, the focus of the coldest air will be across the eastern states, not directly at us, although we will sample some of the colder air. So um, there will be a big change, and the European shows that very, very clearly. You see that warmest temperature on Friday, followed by the front on Saturday, then the big drop over the weekend. That gives you an idea. Then maybe some midweek sh- uh, showers before Thanksgiving. And then surge number two comes in. So we have have two surges of colder colder air between now and Iron Bowl weekend. And it looks like uh, some some chilly days and nights in our future. Even though the coldest air won't be straight at us during the month of December, we could see some cold air outbreaks. I continue to think that the period of time between Thanksgiving and Christmas could feature a lot of cold outbreaks. Here is uh, the weather app that you should have on your phone with 10-day forecast, hourly forecast, push notifications for watches and warnings current conditions, and a lot more. Go to the App Store, search Rich Thomas Weather. So as the week goes on, we'll continue to look at new model runs and try to pin down uh, the uh, details of uh, Thanksgiving week, which continues to look pretty intriguing. Even though the cold air is not heading apparently right straight for us, we may get a glancing blow. Have a great day today. Live on the radio this morning from 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1 with Greg, J, Emily, and Bailey the Wonder Dog. Hi, Bailey. You're going to be... She's going to be with us this morning as well. Uh, she's a star. Uh, and uh, another video for you first thing tomorrow morning at 4.45 a.m. Have a great Monday. The sun is coming back soon. We'll see you later. Rich Thomas Weather.